Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. Today I'd like to share with you some of my favorite things to look for when I'm shopping at thrift stores. So when I'm going to the thrift stores to shop, I always have a list in the back of my head of what I'm looking for and it pretty much stays quite pretty much the same. Sometimes I'll be looking for a couple special items, but for the most part I'm always kind of looking for the same sort of thing because those are the items that I like to use in my home decor. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So one of the things that I always look for are cutting boards. I love cutting boards so much. I have quite a collection going on and it's always fun to add a new one to my collection. So of course, I'm always on the lookout for them. That's what I found not too long ago. It was under $3. It's a nice chunky one. It does have a few splits on the bottom and it's already got that nice worn patina to it. And that is what I'm looking for and that is what I love. The splits don't matter to me very much at all because they are purely for decoration. So the next thing that I'm always on the lookout for when I am thrifting are picture frames. It's a very inexpensive way to find frames that work perfectly in your decor or that you can give a little makeover to and change up to meet your decor. Now this one I loved because it was nice and chunky. It obvious it needed some love so I gave it a coat of paint and some distressing. But this one only cost me six dollars and this is a nice big frame and I have quite a few frames like this around my home that I have made fit my decor with just with some simple paint. Another thing that I like to look for at the thrift store are hand painted landscapes like this one right here. It's a little hard to see but this one cost me $7.99 at the thrift store and I absolutely love it. I love finding ones that have the little cabin in the woods. I don't know, I just love cabins in the woods. It's so much fun to me. But keeping an eye out at the thrift store for items like this can really save you a lot of money on your decor pieces. If you can find a few that you enjoy and that fit into your decor. I have a few paintings that I have the winter scene and then I have a few that are a summer scene. So I just kind of switch them out throughout the year and I think it's a great way to find artwork for your walls. So another thing that I always look for when I go to thrift stores are mirrors because mirrors are normally pretty expensive but at the thrift store they're normally under $20 and I always look for ones that have some spotting on them or that are in unique shapes or have a nice frame to them. Um, I have found quite a few in the past that work perfectly in my home. So I just recently found a post last week about a mirror makeover that I, um, that I did from a thrift store find and it turned out perfectly and I absolutely love it so much. So I always keep an eye out for mirrors. The next thing that I always look for are baskets. So this is a new thing for me because I would say within the last year I have somehow have fallen in love with baskets and before that I was never a basket person but I am always on the lookout for baskets that are oversized or have some sort of unique shape or feature to them because those type of baskets are always a lot more expensive in a typical retail store. So this is one of my favorite um, basket finds of all time. It's a twig basket and I bought this for $4 at the thrift store and I absolutely love it. I have this large one and then I have a few smaller ones and I love these for using on my porch and putting some plants in it for the summertime. It's so much fun. I love it so much. But of course I also use baskets around my house. Like I have a very large oversized one that I leave in my in my living room that holds like extra blankets and that sort of thing. So baskets are always a great item to look for at the thrift store. So the next thing I'm always on the lookout for are boxes. Wood boxes, wood trays, and wood crates. Things like this. I have found this box, oh I don't know. I think I've had this box for three or four years. I absolutely love it. And I, as you can see, I've kept this one the way it is because I really like the color of it and the distressing that it already has. But some of the boxes I find are not in very good condition. So I will give them, I'll either strip the stain off of them and give them a, a restaining or I'll give them a paint job of some sort, that sort of thing. A lot of the wood trays that I find, I normally give um, a paint treatment to of some sort as well as a lot of the crates that I find. I haven't really found too many 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 crates but I'm always on the lookout. <laughs> the next thing I look for 
are candlestick holders, lanterns, and wall sconces. I am obsessed with candles, so I'm always on the lookout for new candle holders and that sort of thing. This right here is one that I found a long, long time ago. I have two of them. I bought them as a set for less than $5 at the thrift store. And it's such a unique shape, and I love the color of them, and I love the patina on them. And it's just something that I always am constantly reaching for because I love them so much. And I think it's awesome that I found them at the thrift store. Another thing that I'm always up, another one that I picked up not too long ago is this one right here. It's a wall, or it's a hanging, you know, candle holder. And I think this is just so cool and looks so farmhousey that I couldn't pass them up. I found a pair of these also. Can't remember. Oh, it was $1.99. Still has a tag on it. That's funny. Um, so yeah, that and then like wall sconces. I found in the past some really nice cast iron. Well, you can see it right up here. This one, the, here, I'll just grab it off the wall. <laughs> so this one right here is a wall sconce that I found. It's a cast iron one. And when I picked it up, it was really like um, rusted and not looking very nice. So I gave it a coat of paint and then I just dressed it. And now I absolutely love it. Um, I just recently found another set that I need to give a little makeover to. But I love these things so much. They're so much fun. Anything you can add a candle to is like a plus in my book. So the next thing that I look for are linens. I love to find vintage sheets, vintage pillowcases. I also keep my eye out for white matelasse coverlets and for quilts. In the past I've found like three or four quilts um, that I use on a pretty regular basis around my house. I have one that is on my um, sofa in my living room, just protecting it until I can get a slip cover made for it. Um, I have another quilt that I use in my bedroom quite often, and it's just such a cool thing because most of the quilts you'll find at the thrift store are about $10 or less. And it's just a kind of a nice way to add kind of a cozy, homey feel to a room. As for Matt Lise coverlets, I use them on my bed, in my bedroom. I have a couple in reserve. And then I've used other ones that I found at the thrift store to make slip covers for couches and for chairs. I just find them very useful and very helpful thing to have around. And you get quite a lot of fabric in one coverlet. And then as for pillowcases and sheets, this one here is a gorgeous sheet that I found and I turned into a set of curtains for my bedroom for the springtime, probably about three years ago and I absolutely love them. I also pick up a lot of pillow, um, pillowcases in floral designs whenever I find them. I can normally find them for like 99 cents and I love using them in the summertime. Just a mishmash of colors on my bread. Mm. And I love using them in the summertime, just a mishmash of beautiful floral colors on my bed. It just feels so farmhouse and cottage-like to me. It's so much fun to add to that collection. Alright, so that brings me to the very last thing that I always look for at the thrift store when I am shopping. And if you have watched any of my thrift store Thursdays in the past, you can probably guess what it is that I'm going to say. And it's dishes. White dishes. In particular, I'm always on the lookout for ironstone. I have quite a few things that, I mean, I've found quite a few things over the years in the ironstone that I love so dearly, and I haven't ever paid more than, like, I think maybe I bought a terrine once, but it wasn't a true ironstone piece, and that was $10, and I thought that was, like, amazing, but most of the time, you know, it's like, six dollars and under when I find a piece of ironstone. So it's a good way to find ironstone if you love it as much as I do because I just can't I just can't justify going out and spending you know a lot of money on ironstone so I have to be patient and wait for the finds at the thrift store. But one other thing that gets me through in between those ironstone finds are white plates. I use white plates and white dishes in so many different ways around my house. In decorative uses, I use them every day. Um, I love stacking them. I love hanging them on the wall. It's just, there's just so many uses and I am constantly on the, on the lookout for dishes. 
And like this soup terrine, oh my gosh, I love soup terrine so much. But yeah, you could just, you can't go wrong. And you know, the prices at the thrift stores are so much better than what you will find in regular retail stores. So, but it, it, you know, it, building a collection of white dishes or dishes in particular from the thrift store is gonna take you a little longer because you know, you wanna be selective of what you pay, bring home. But at the same time, a lot of the times you won't find anything. You may have to wait a little bit between, you know, be, between scores at the thrift store. But that's what makes thrifting so much fun is, you know, you'll find a whole bunch sometimes and other times you won't. And then the next time you go, there's like so much you can't even hardly make a decision of which one you're going to bring home. So yeah, it's just fun. So lately I've been branching out into like florals also in the dish department, which is not a good thing because I'm running out of space to keep my dishes. Um, but yeah, I love like the dainty floral, um, what do you call it? I love like the dainty floral designs on like platters and stuff like that. And I love finding something that's like crackled and worn and the, um, it's got the brownish tone to it and just, oh, just love that. Love that so much. But anyways, and those are normally really cheap at the thrift store because most people think, oh, nobody's going to buy this. This plate's all brown, you know? But, oh, no. I snatch those up and bring them home and love them forever. So, I fear this video has turned a little long now that I've started chatting about things that I like at the thrift store. All right, so that completes my list for today um i don't know it'd be interesting to do this again in like six months to see if my list is still the same or not i don't know i think it probably would be the same i might take baskets off the list but just because i have so many baskets there's not a whole lot i can i have so many baskets i'm having a hard time storing the baskets now thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it i had fun putting this together and i would love to know down in the comments what you look for when you go to the thrift store. Is there one certain thing that you're always on the lookout? Or do you just kind of go and whatever strikes your fancy, that's what you get? I'm just kind of curious. Like, am I the only one that goes to the store with like a list in my mind of what I want to look for? Or am I like the only weirdie that does that? I don't know. But anyway, so let me know down in the comments. And of course, if you are new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. I like to do a lot of DIYs and decors. And of course, I do a weekly vlog and a weekly Thrift Store Thursday um, video, so which I would love for you to join in with. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it for me today. I feel like I should say something more, but I think that's all I have to say today. So I guess I will say goodbye, and until next time, bye.